Hey, kia ora, Helen Brums here coming to you live from wherever the heck I am. Claremont, Florida, that's where I <laughs> How can I forget where I've been since I've been here for like, since I've been at this particular campground since the 23rd of March, but in the area since the 9th of March, and yet I'm forgetting where I am. Almost two months, can you believe that, in Florida? Whew, okay, so how did your challenges go today? So our mindset challenge was all about fear. With people having the fear of missing out there um, and i'm talking about you know facing everything and rising fear face everything and rise um how did you get on with that challenge today about um turning in a fearful situation turning it around um being too afraid to do something but finding something to be grateful for um, because when you're in a negative frame of, frame of mind and you're um and you're fearful of something and you're scared of something you're just going to get more negativity mirrored back to you so it's um today was all about flipping that switch and flipping everything around so that you are now grateful for the situation and you're grateful for the lessons that you're learning in this point in time and you are um and and, and in that way you're now facing everything and rising so how did you do with that today your business challenge was it's done finish it friday did you get your tasks done for today I know I didn't, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and then the fun was the fresh air. Just open a window somewhere, having things air out. Um, we had a phenomenal day where the temperature was low 80s, low humidity, gentle breeze. We had all the windows open, we had the door open, and we just had it wafting through the place. It got a good air out, to, um, good airing today inside Sparkles. It just felt so good. We didn't close up everything until we went for our evening walk. Um, so it was nice to get the fresh air just coming in through the windows and having that cross breeze going and um and we closed and like i said when we got to doing evening walk we closed everything up although we're about to take a second evening walk um so that was that was kind of cool too and then today of course was the mass exodus from the campground today and we live on the corner oh we live we are currently parked on the corner of a side street and a major and the major road that goes from the gate all the way down to the lake and everybody had to and those departing day was supposed to be out by 11 o'clock three minutes to 12 there's still rvs going past us it was incredible it was it was like what um but it wasn't just like bumper to bumper of rvs it was like one would go past wait a few seconds another one would come past a few seconds later another one would come past so there was probably about 20 to 30 seconds between each one or even up to a minute between the RVs but it was a steady stream of RVs leaving today um, along this main road and I looked down our street and I took a picture of it earlier today and there was three RVs five empty spaces and looking out there now I've got the blind drawn a little bit so I can't quite clearly see but I think there may only be like one or two spaces left down the area that I can see now um, and even when we were out walking you could see a lot more space there were, when we went for our walk this morning there was a lot of empty spaces um, and in our evening walk we do a different route and it was basically the same as always been but we did notice when we went out to because it was Friday it's takeaway it's takeout night and so I we went to grab some um, grab some fast food tonight for dinner because that's, that's Friday night's thing that's something that we're doing um, and we noticed a lot more like I knew oh there was a different RV there this morning oh that one's changed too and so is that one and that one and that one so it was interesting to see as we're driving all these new people are in they're all set up they're ready to go it's it's great but today has been a day where you just go with the flow um, I had laundry that I had to do I've got tanks I've still got to go dump um, what else did I have to do today oh there was a trash run I had to do I've got groceries still to do I was gonna do them yesterday they didn't get done it's probably gonna be Sunday before I do groceries tomorrow I'm definitely doing laundry it's a case of I have to do laundry tomorrow there is no question about that it has to get done tomorrow um, and the tanks will get done tonight but we're about to go um, for a walk um, another walk um, so we've got a friend on her way Vicky's on her way over and she's gonna meet up with us and we're gonna go for another walk um, so tanks will get done when we get back from that or they may get done first thing in the morning I haven't decided but it's just one of those days where um, where I had a I had a, um, a connection set up with somebody on zoom technology was not working it was not our best friend today so we ended up switching over to Facebook messenger and doing the video chat through that we were on our, our hour-long meeting turned into just over three hours it was one of the most enlightening meetings I have ever had with a person and getting to know the person um, and the revelations that came out of that I too emotional to talk about but just know it was just an incredible meeting of divine intervention. That's all I can say about it because it was 
I still, still getting my head around what happened during that meeting today and the revelations that were made and things like that. It was it was a very emotional time, and um, so um, I keep thinking about it. And of course, the sparkles of love keep flowing. But um, it was a very emotional time, very revealing time, and it was just. And this is the first time, the second time I'd met this person, but the first time we'd had a one-on-one -on -one session, and um, a one-on-one -on -one meeting, and it was just. It was life-altering, and let me just say that that song that's been my theme song that was last year, and I turned into my theme song for this year, This Girl Is On Fire, that came up so much today in this meeting, and I hadn't even told this person that that was my theme song, and I don't think it's anywhere on my Facebook page that's my theme song either, so it was kind of interesting to hear that come up about me being on fire, so look out where it, here I come. But anyway, that's it from me for tonight. I've got to go get my shoes and socks on so I can go for a walk, take Zephy for yet another walk. She's not going to complain. <laughs> she loves her walks. Um, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. We will be back with you guys tomorrow morning with your challenges for Saturday. Um, until then, hekonera!